Hey guys, <clears throat> um, uh, too much we got here. Um, the game, the game guy that's usually over here, the game, game man, man guy. Um, uh, he's not here. Um, he's doing something else. He said, and he said I could film the show. I think he said that. I don't know. I don't listen to what he says, but. Um, you just said I can't say Sega. Hey, you can't say Sega. What? What the fuck? There's two of me? So he said that we had to, um, we had to tally the votes for the quick, quick, uh, television and quick video game stuff. I don't remember anything anymore. Uh, <coughs> but, um, yeah. What are you doing? Oh, sorry, man. I, I thought you said you were going, sorry. No, dude, I just want to get some Arnold Palmer. Oh, okay. Alright, dude. Alright. Okay. Okay. So from eBay, I got some cheap filler for my Super Nintendo collection. You can see right here. And, um, I got a lot of decent games and a lot of really pretty crappy ones. Um, I got NHL 95. Um, I really don't care, but it's an addition to the collection. NBA Live 98. Dig and Spike Volleyball. WWF Raw. Troy Aikman Football. This is a game I wanted because it started with a Z. Zoop. Jurassic Park Part 2 The Chaos Continues. Super WrestleMania. Ah! I dropped it. Home Alone with a torn label, which isn't cool. Home Alone 2. Joe Pesci's on the front of this one with the other guy. I don't know his name. Charles Barkley. Shut up and jam! Oh! Scooby Doo Mystery. Super Caesar's Palace. And the last one's Family Feud. Um, I heard a, a good thing about this from um, Ramstein Fan 234 um, He actually recommended this to me, so happy to pick that up. Um, I haven't tried it yet, so I hope it's good like he said it was. I trust him. So I picked up a handful, a literally a handful, of uh, Game Boy Advance games from eBay. These are all 10 bucks altogether, um, which is cool. And um, they're basically just filler, but... Um, it's pretty cool. I needed some. I don't have really any Game Boy Advance games. I like the Game Boy Advance, so I'm happy to pick that up. So, uh, here they are. The first one is the best one, and uh, one I really like. Um, I loved it on the PlayStation 2. Tony Hawk's Underground. It's not really the same as it is on PlayStation 2, but it still is pretty cool. Next one is X Games Skateboarding, which is cool. Texas Hold'em Poker. I have no clue what this is about. Um, it's made by National Geographic, Arctic Tail, I don't get it, Backyard Sports, looks like basketball, World Championship Poker, another Tony Hawk game which is really cool, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, actually kind of like this movie, um, it's made by Activision's game, <clears throat> It's Over the Hedge, and Backyard Baseball, and to finish it off, Classic Game Hunter, I know you hate it, <clears throat> but it is Madden 04. Yeah, there you go, Class Game Hunter. You can have this. I know you want it. So that's pretty much it for the pickups this week. I didn't pick up that much. I have uh, more packages coming in the mail, some donation packages, which I'm really excited about, and um, just some eBay packages. So uh, stay tuned for next week for some more awesome pickups. So the winner for last week was Firepower 2000. Uh, this is probably my favorite Super Nintendo game now. Um, it is really, really freaking difficult, but... It is super duper fun, and uh, here is the review. Firepower 2000, here it is. So this is a crazy ass shoot 'em up, where um, you just shoot people basically. But um, it is it's pretty difficult. You you can play as a tank, a uh, helicopter, or an airplane. I think I usually play as the tank or the helicopter. Uh, but uh, you shoot in any direction you want. Um, shoot front, 
Oh, we're back, and you just try not to get hit, and it gets really hard to try not to get hit in this game. But the graphics are insanely amazing. Um, graphics are better than some graphics today, and uh, I think that's saying a lot, because some graphics today just look like shit. Like, they try too hard, see? See, you just get obliterated in one shot. But they try too hard nowadays to, you know... Oh, shit. And you can jump, and uh, you can barely tell you're jumping. You just hear that weird sound, but... Why am I not shooting? You can pick your weapons with the, the shoulder buttons after you unlock them. Uh, right now, I didn't unlock anything, so I don't have anything to use. Uh, but the explosions and sound effects and the music in this game is just pumping... So, uh, pick it up. There's not one thing wrong with it. If you're looking for a badass shoot 'em up that, uh, that's gonna make your blood boil, uh, then this is the one for you. So, this week, your choices will just be some random NES games. Um, it's probably gonna be like this from now on. Uh, but the random NES games are cool. Uh, the first one is Dig Dug Part 2, which is a really cool game. This game was recommended to me by Mike B. the Game Genie, and that is POW Prisoner of War. This next game I have a high score on in a machine in Seaside, New Jersey. Um, but that's Spy Hunter. This game is awesome. Not the greatest arcade port, but it's still really fun. This game I picked up recently because it was recommended to me by Jill Poo 3, and that is uh, TNC Surf Designs. And this game was recommended to me by Electric Adventures, and that is Sky Shark. So, yeah. So, as always, vote for what you want to see next week, and uh, I look forward to your votes. <laughs> so, the response of the week is going to be a little bit different this week. Um, I asked everybody for three video game recommendations, and now it's my turn. I'm going to recommend three games to everybody out there, so here is my response to my own video. So I'm going all Nintendo on you here. Um, the first one is for the Super Nintendo, and that is Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Really cool game. Um, I've talked about this a lot. It gets a lot of praise on my channel, so Zombies Ate My Neighbors is really awesome. This next game, I think people have heard of it but not played it, but you got to pick it up because it's only about $6. It's called Monster Party. It is really freaking awesome. The bosses in this game are so weird. Uh, the enemies are weird. It's just a really great platformer at the same time, though. So, Monster Party for the NES is really cool. And this one, I'm surprised not met that many people heard of, um, Ed T. Because um, it's amazing. It's Contra 4. I did a review of this in my first ever NJS. So, it is an amazing game. So, definitely try to pick it up. Um, it, I think it goes for 15 bucks at GameStop. And it's totally worth it. Um, it is... Oh, I have my Earthworm Jim in there. But... Uh, yeah, it is a great game. Uh, definitely try to pick it up. Um, it's incredible. Uh, it's basically like a more modern, kick-ass version of the original Contra. It's amazing, so pick it up. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.